Brand new fears Iran-backed Hezbollah will open a new front from the north in Israel's war on terrorism. Israeli forces clashing with Hezbollah in Lebanon today as the radical mullahs of Iran refuse to back down following this warning from Joe Biden. We've moved the U.S. carrier fleet to the eastern Mediterranean and we're sending more fighter jets there in that region and made it clear, made it clear to the Iranians, be careful. So, Martha, even if the administration won't talk much about it, Iran is key to this whole thing. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, Bob Gates was on America's reports this morning, or America's newsroom this morning, and he said every president who has extended their hand to Iran has had it slapped. And that's exactly what we're watching play out here, because there was an effort with the JCPOA. Um, there was an effort with this uh, <coughs> deal five for five hostages plus six billion dollars. I I don't understand, I don't think we know the answer yet, to why they will not say that Iran is obviously behind this attack. Well, we can't, like Jack Keane, General Jack Keane said, you know, what are they looking for? Like a signed piece of paper that said, yes, mm -hmm. please go in on October 7th? They're not going to find that. But, you know, the general says it's obvious that they would never have pulled this off, this orchestration without the Iranians. So I, I think this is a story that we're going to keep digging into and find out why there is such reluctance to refreeze the money and say that's what you're doing. I said to John Kirby today, if you if they requested money, he said, no, oh, they haven't touched a dime of it over and over and over again. He said that. Yeah, but what if they asked for it tomorrow? Oh, if they asked for it tomorrow, would you, would you deny it? And he wouldn't answer it. John Kirby was dancing today on your show. Uh, Jesse, why, why on the Iran question, she just asked? Well, they're dealing with China and Russia who back the Iranians. And so they're trying to put together this deal with the Saudis and the Israelis to normalize relations and the other Arab partners. And if Hezbollah comes in with rockets from the north, it opens up a two-front war and the United States is screwed because the United States is going to really have to go in hard and Joe Biden doesn't want to touch it. Joe Biden should just bring in Turkey. He should bring in the Egyptians because we pay those countries a lot of money and he should work this out in a deal. And he can't do it because he's not smart enough. So he's going to probably just watch it all happen as the rest of this country watches it all happen. And I don't think it's going to end well. Yeah, Harold and Judge, you were having a big debate in the break. Uh, it was a very lovely conversation. It was spirited, <laughs> uh, recreated in 90 seconds. <laughs> no, I mean, if we do stand back and watch, Harold, what happens? I don't think we should stand back and watch. I just think we need to be mindful of what happens if something else happens. If this happens in the north, uh, it's very likely we will find the Israelis. The Israelis have never asked the Americans to be involved militarily, actively involved militarily with troops. As you well know, Pete, you're the only one who served at this table. I think they might, the likelihood of them asking if that happens on the north front increases dramatically. That's the only point I make as we think about what comes next. I agree with the first part of what you said, and I agree totally. They should, John Kerman, everybody should say, we're freezing the funds. Say that. I understand that the dancing on some of the other things, but you got to say you're freezing those funds. Judge. Okay. You know, when John Kirby danced today, I watched it. We're watching it like a hawk. What does that mean, John Kirby? I, Jonathan, I mean, it's just, it's stupid watching it like a hawk. Um, look, here, here, the problem, obviously, is that um, if they say Iran was at it, uh, behind it, everybody knows they were. Everybody knows Iran uh, backs uh, Hamas and Hezbollah. Then we put ourselves in a footing where we're possibly in a world war. Everybody understands that, so they're being delicate about the language. You know, but the truth is, you know, when Joe Biden comes out and when uh, Austin comes out and says, don't, it reminds me of Nancy Reagan when she, just, when she said, just say no to drugs. You know, it just, it doesn't work. All right, and it doesn't show how firm we are. I mean, what about this Hamas guy living in Qatar? Why aren't we, why aren't we sanctioning Qatar for that guy over there who's behind Hamas and all of this other stuff? I mean, you know, we're, 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 like, a, we're like pushovers, and we haven't shown any strength. In a, in a neighborhood where only strength is respected. And that's the problem. Yeah. You're exactly right. For the record, when Nancy Reagan told me to just say no, I did just say no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy. It works on, on, on Harold. It works on some. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.